Also, Beast Boost Porygon is a nightmare here. YouTube today we're going to be trying out a brand new team and this team got 18th in the last stadium ladder season with Celesteela and Choice Scarf Groudon. We'll see how this team goes but if you do enjoy the videos be sure to leave a like down below leave a comment down below where it does help me out. If you want to check out the details of the team in the creator down below the description and you can grab the rental code on your screen while it's available but let's get started and play some games. Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, Zashin, Groudon, Charizard and the Gastrodon. Okay, this is... We got the Rinya Sun matchup right here. I wonder if I can pull off the strategy of using Groudon plus the Celesteela and try to surprise that Charizard a little bit. And I kind of do want to try to attempt that. So that's what I'm going to go for. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go with Groudon plus Celesteela lead. And in the back, definitely the Calyx Ice Rider and... Last Pokemon, Gastrodon or Porygon? I guess... Porygon? Now this last Pokemon's kind of weird for me. I think I'm gonna just go Porygon and see how it goes, but uh yeah. Incineroar is actually kind of a weird Pokemon for this team because we have a lot of Pokemon that exact don't exactly like Incineroar, but we'll see how this goes. Like granted, our Groudon's probably our only answer to their Incineroar other than like Celesteela game and Meteor Beam or Rockfall combination off. But let's see what they lead here. Gonna be the Groudon and the Charizard. Okay! Okay, Celesteela. If they're not expecting this, uh, Rock Tomb into the uh, Meteor Beam would be so nice here. Because we do have that combination. Uh, if they try to switch in Sinor expecting a Rock Fall, that'd be really ideal. We get to use up the Charty Berry. If it's the Charty Berry Charizard, just gotta hit. Just gotta hit. Just gotta hit the Charizard, you know? Just hit the Charizard and we'll be fine. Come on, just hit the Charizard. So still just hit the one, hit this one Meteor Beam. Oh, actually, no. Scratch that. Hit all your Meteor Beams, but hit this one specifically. I would like to see this one hit specifically. Let's, let's find out how this goes. Because they don't exactly... Okay, okay. No switches, but we do see the Dynamax coming out. If this is Groudon, this is going to be so weird, but okay. It is the Charizard. Okay. Good start, good start, good start, good start. Please just hit the... The only thing about the rock moves are they're very inaccurate here. Rock Tomb, okay. No Charty Berry. All right, that's huge damage to the Charizard. Just gotta hit this me. Oh, Fire... What? Okay. Oh, and the Groudon. Interesting choice. All right, Meteor Beam does come out from my Celesteela. Okay, we hit the Charizard. This is really important. We have the power herb and nice, nice. Okay, goodbye, Charizard. Ooh, goodbye, Charizard. Very nice tech. They probably were not expecting it. They probably thought, okay, I could probably just double up the ground on here and I should be able to KO and be super safe. But uh I, they weren't really safe. I feel like Cell Steel carrying Meteor Beam. I guess like there are Meteor Beam Cell Steel has dropped off. The support one's been more common recently with like Leech Seed, sometimes Wide Guard. Uh, but yeah, the Meteor Beam Cell Steel, the offensive Cell Steel, I'm making a comeback here. Uh, Incineroar gonna come in. Alright, that's perfectly fine. I'm swapping out the Groudon because Groudon's still really good. I don't know what I'm bringing in though. Cali Ice, I guess? Yeah, I'll bring in Cali Ice. Or do I go. I could go Porygon. This is a very unique Porygon set right here. Actually, I could trace. You know what? I'm going to try to trace the in Intimidate from the Incineroar. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I don't have an Incineroar, but maybe I could trace their Intimidate. <laughs> That's the That's goal right here. This is actually kind of still scary because of the fact that, again, I don't think the Incineroar is super easy to handle. Oh, it's... When you have the skills, when you have the skills, the Intimidate right here into the Groudon and the Incineroar. And we protect our Celesteel here. Fantastic. And the next turn, I go into Ice Rider, I guess. And am I Rockfall? I guess I Rockfall here. Fake out. Ooh, wait. What if I just Dynamax there? I'm surprised. They Fire Punch my uh, Celesteel too. That's okay. I could Ally Switch, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do it to him like that. I'm going to Cali Ice here. And I'm going to click the airstream into the... I'm going to click Rockfall, actually. Ah, do I? 
I guess I could actually no, I could just Dynamax. My Celestial is guaranteed to be faster than the Incineroar. I guess I could just Trick Room here. Yeah, Trick Room is just fine. And I'm going to go for a Rockfall. Uh, they could switch out the Incineroar into the Zacian. Oh, they're just going to farm it. They kind of realize it's over at this point. But yeah, I think just going for the Rockfall was super safe. Just going for the Trick Room. Uh, some of us take a lot of damage from the Rockfall. Most likely the Incineroar was just going to go down there. And so, yeah, then afterward, they just really didn't have much. So, Argus Lair out in Cineroar, which is already kind of an interesting star. Shuckerberry is common. Light screen, Thunder Wave. Okay. The standard Zacian with a really weird speed tier. Oh, no, that's just max speed, max attack. Okay. A Solvest Groudon. Not too surprising. Oh, but wait, there's a, there's a speed tie between Celesteel and Groudon. If they went for a Rock Tomb. And one to speed tie, that would have been super awkward. <laughs> Thankfully, they did not. Oh, I didn't mean to cancel out, but okay. Yeah, luckily we got the meter beam combination off. We did hit it, and yeah, that's ex that's kind of unexpected thing. They were not expecting it, and I was able to really punish there. The Alga Zashin Grimmsnarl, the Landis Farian alongside Rillaboom and Urshifu. Now, fun fact, I don't actually think they have the best Celesteela matchup, but it's definitely one heck of an interesting team. I'll definitely tell you that much. I actually kind of want to go... Huh. <laughs> Wait, no, there's fake tears. There's fake tears on the Grimmsnarl. I'm actually... I think I'm going to do Venusaur with Porygon 2 as the lead. I'm going to threaten the Sleep Powder. I'm going to bluff it. I'm just going to bluff it and then bring the Groudon in the back. Let's see if this works. I'm going to try to bluff the Sleep Powder because... That was still... Uh, doesn't look great. Uh, it's just a it's just a grim snarl with fake tears and the focus sash variant if it is going to be that set it's actually going to be really tough for my team to break through just because uh i don't exactly have the best pivots into the dialga we're going to see urshifu dialga unique unique lead here porygon 2 plus the venusaur i don't have a close combat switch oh boy so we get the telepathy which means it should be bulldoze on the other thing okay uh, I do not have much of a play here, unfortunately. I do have the Sash, though. And it shouldn't be Sash or Shifu, I'm pretty sure. I think we're probably going to take trade. I am capping here. I'm sleep powdering. <laughs> I'm sleep powdering and I'm clicking... I guess I could ally switch. <laughs> do I want to ally switch this turn? I might have to. You know what? I'm clicking it. I'm clicking it. I'm clicking Sleep Powder plus Ally Switch. Let's see how this goes. They have to double up my Porygon specifically in order for this to go really badly here. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I hated a Venusaur plus Porygon 2 lead back in the day. Sleep Powder plus... Uh, Sleep Powder is, plus uh, Ally Switch P2 just seemed like so dumb to play because you also have the max option with Venusaur. You have uh, just Trick Room safely. You just had so many dumb options with this lead. A Porygon and Venusaur will switch. I should be close combat into the Venusaur. Yep, perfect. Okay. I'm imagining this is Hailstorm also into the Dialga slot or into the Venusaur slot. So let's see if this is going to be the case. Uh, we're actually faster than the Dialga and get the sleep powder of. Okay, fantastic. I was not expecting that one, but that works. Okay. And now... I don't need Trick Room though, that's the thing. I guess I'm just eerie impulsing the Dialga and I'm going to click the Frenzy Plan into the Urshifu because uh, this is going to be close combat mind games. They're probably just going to close combat my Porygon actually here because I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. Close combat going to come out into the Porygon slot. Yep, makes sense. Uh, we do survive, which is really good here. So I am able to get the eerie impulse. I'm pretty sure that is Bandit Urshifu and uh, Porygon is just absolutely insane. Frenzy Plan, we missed. Oh, that's really bad. That's real. That's a really bad miss. At least we got the eerie impulse in the Dialga and we wasted the Dynamax turns, but okay. Well, it's kind of funny. We hit the sleep powder and not the frenzy plan. Okay. I'm ally switching and frenzy planning because <laughs> I think they're turning down my Venusaur slot this time because I think the Venusaur slots is a bigger threat, but we'll find out. We are, we are ally switching with the Porygon. We just gotta, we just gotta do what we gotta do, you know? The close comment does come out. Uh, they did target my Venusaur. Unlucky. Okay. I mean, this is kind of fine though. Yeah, this is like realistically fine. So goodbye to my Venusaur. They stay asleep. Okay. Really, really good. Okay. So I get to go out into my Groudon here. 
and I get to click precipice plates and my Porygon can really just do whatever, I guess. What, am I, what do I want to do with Porygon? Just foul play here, I guess? Or do I want to switch? I could switch out. Like I could say Porygon is a sack, which I probably do want to. I'm going to precipice blades here. I don't know if they're going to close combat. I think they might actually. They might not switch out. I'm going hard into cell steel and precipice blading. Let's see if this works. <laughs> oh boy. Precipice blades and Selly because Selly can actually get into a good position. I think afterward because we can start air streaming stuff. Precipice blades on the Groudon. Like they only have one good switch here and that's the I guess two which is Landris if they have it which I imagine they do and the Grim Snarl. Regardless though, uh, three turns of sleep on their max. Beautiful. Uh, we'll find out. They didn't switch. Okay, so I think they're committed to trying to KO the Porygon right here. Again, the Celestia, please hit the blades. Just hit the blades on their Shifu. That's all you have to hit. Okay, we do hit the blades. That's a minus three or Shifu or minus two, something like that. Uh, goodbye to their Shifu. They probably did not expect the Scarf right there, but yeah, I do have the Scarf. They do wake up with Diaga, which is guaranteed. Go for the Flash Cannon into the Celestia, but the Celestia We'll tank that comfortably right here. Life Orb is revealed on the Dialga. It just wasn't really that fast of a Dialga. Well, I guess, actually, my Venus was probably timid. I didn't actually look at the Venus Orb, but I'm probably timid in their modest Dialga, which makes sense. Uh, they're in range to press this place and their own Life Orb chip now. So, I guess Zashin could come in. Uh, what is that Pokemon coming in? Or Shifu or Grimmsnarl. Okay. Uh, which is fine here. I'm going to go for Press's Blades, and I'm just going to go for a Flash Cannon into the a Grimmsnarl. Uh, this could be scary face here. This could be fake out. I think either way, I'm completely fine. We're going to retreat the Dialga into Zacian. Okay, Zacian actually does come in here. Okay. Which is fine. Because they don't threaten a knockout into my cell steal. This has to be fake out in the Groudon. Yeah, fake out in the Groudon. I do get a free flash cannon off, which is fantastic into the Grim Snarl. And... Yeah, Grimstall doesn't go down, but it was pretty close. I'm going to sack my Porygon 2 at this point. Porygon 2 doesn't really do much here, and I'm going to go for a... What should I go for? Probably just Airstream is fine here. I could steal... Actually, no, Steel Spike is fine. Although, Airstream does allow me to O-code the Dialga safely afterward. Yeah, I'm, I'll just uh, Airstream. I'll just Airstream. Because Scarf Groudon seems really good here. I think they're probably going to go for, like, Scary Face Behemoth Blade crit at this point. That's what I imagine they do. Get the prankster. So I guess I have an even higher priority ally switch. <laughs> All right. Uh, we bring out the Dynamax on the Celestial. And I think, yeah, this is the kind of the weakness of this team. Uh, really relies on uh, getting the first couple turns right with Dialga. And uh, yeah, the Sleep Powder and Dialga really just kind of shut them down realistically. That's how... It was. That's how Porygon 2 Venusaur is, man. Uh, they do scary face here in my Groudon slot, I imagine. Uh, this could be a target into my Celestila, but I imagine you're going to try to finish off the Porygon right here. Yep. Exactly. So we're going to see the Behemoth Blade into the Porygon. I mean, the game's not over by far. The Groudon's chipped, so I think I might go down the Behemoth Blade from the Zacian. And actually, I don't even know. There is... There's actually quite a few things that could go really wrong here, but I do get the airstream boost. KO the Grim Snarl, okay. It's actually really huge. I guess I airstream the Dialga upcoming turn. I think now that I, yeah, now that I think about it, I think I have to. A speed boost and beast boost. Groudon. Groudon's chipped, which is the awkward part. I don't have bulldoze. This actually is really could be close because if I let me check my Groudon speed tier. Am I faster than Zacian guaranteed? I saw the Precipice Blades regardless, right? I guess I could Fire Punch. You know what? I'll just Fire Punch, yeah. I'm going to Fire Punch the Zacian and I'm going to steal... No, I'm going to Airstream the Dialga. Because then I outspeed the Zacian afterward with my Celesteela. Throw off a Steel Spike afterwards. So I don't have to rely actually on misses here. Uh, fire Punch into the Zacian. Does a good amount. Game played. I'd say KO's the Groudon. I'd say KO's the Groudon. I'm not 100% certain. It should. Oh, it does. Not even close. I mean, maybe the Zacian is just bulkier on this version. But yeah, I don't like Max Attack Zacian just does so much damage. Like, 
But then again, Groudon has really high natural defense, but this one doesn't have any bulk, which is why I'm a little bit surprised. But yeah, Airstream does KO the, the Dialga. Now I have a Choice Scarf Groudon with Fire Punch. If they did behemoth play knock on my Groudon, I think I sealed it because again, I do have one more turn of max. I, I speed this option. I got the necessary damage off. So Fire Punch into Steel Spectra KO. And yeah, there shouldn't have been no way they win. Great Behemoth Blade didn't kill myself. Steal at the range I was at. The Dialga probably did not protect. So yeah, able to seal up the game right there. And yeah, Choice Scarf, Groudon. They really just don't expect it. And to be fair, like the team's not like extremely fast, but yeah, having that surprise Choice Scarf just really came in handy right there. I was able to KO their Shifu. They probably thought they could get another close combat off and then maybe like an attack with Dialga, but nope, uh, Fast was Blaze was just able to do way too much damage at that point in the game. And yeah, then <laughs> afterward, was able to get Cell Steel in. Uh, good hit on Sleep Powder. Uh, I missed the Frenzy Plant, which I guess is fair because I did hit the Sleep Powder and did get the three turns of sleep. If they, I wonder what would happen if the Dialga woke up a little bit earlier. Like two turns, I felt like was still okay. If it only took a one turn sleep, that would have been a little bit tricky because then I would probably been forced down to a really early Cell Steel plus Groudon and it wouldn't have been super pretty, but I think it was manageable. As long as I got that eerie impulse, I think off into the Dialga, I felt like it was fine, but I could have been tricky regardless, but thankfully it did work out. Palkia, Amoongus, Calyrex, Ice Rider, Incineroar, Porygon 2, and the Tapu Fini. Okay. What's the matchup for this? Uh, Celestial looks actually pretty good here because Meteor Beam does dish out quite a bit, but the Porygon is actually kind of annoying here. Gastrodon, probably not brought here, I imagine. I don't think I would bring Gastrodon here. Yawn doesn't do anything, especially if they bring Tapu Fini, which I feel like is a decently high chance i'm gonna bring uh, no instant for intimidate it's actually so so weird in this okay let's try out the cal the celesteela i guess plus uh calyx ice rider uh because of daily incinero i could just meteor beam threaten it immediately which i think is really good here if i trade meteor beam for the incinero i think it's really good here and then in the back, I'm definitely bringing the Porygon and the Groudon, I guess. I have to bring Groudon, right? I think I have to. Otherwise, I'd bring Gastrodon. And the thing about Gastrodon is it doesn't really help me too much. I mean, I guess I could like switch into Geysers, which maybe is helpful for Celesteela. Because Celesteela is probably my Dynax Pokemon, but I am not 100% sure. The only problem is I can't stop their Porygon too. I have nothing for their Porygon too. The Porygon 2 kind of farms me with Fury Impulse and Foul Play. So, uh, granted, I could keep switching out, but I can't threaten it with damage other than Cali Ice. So that's a problem. Unless I get the super early Beast Boost, at least I'll still can dish out some damage. I guess I could ally switch to Eerie Impulse, which isn't a bad option. Uh, we'll just see here. We'll just see. Also, I just realized that if they trace my Beast Boost on Celesteela, oh my goodness, that'd be a nightmare. And Cinema Porygon 2 is not a surprising lead here. We're going to see the lead of... Celesteela plus Cali Ice. Okay. Hmm. I don't think you Dynamax the Instant turn one. I feel like that's never a play here. But I don't know what they're doing with the Instant. Uh, fake Out could be a play. I could see them just trying to attempt a Parting Shot here. Maybe a Hard Swap. But I feel like a Hard Swap doesn't make sense. Trace my Beast Boost. Oh yeah, they are guaranteed to trace my Beast Boost. If that Porygon gets a KO on me, oh boy, it's going to be a nightmare. My White Herb is gone. I'm going to go for the Meteor Beam High Horsepower. Uh, the reason I go for this play is because High Horsepower should always just two-shot the Incineroar anyway. So if they do go for Fake Out and Trick Room, then it's fine. Uh, this actually works out because they give me the Instant here turn one, it looks like, assuming I hit the move. Come on, Celestia, just got to hit the move, buddy. Just hit the move into Instant. I do KO, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Unless the Incineroar is especially defensive, which maybe it could be on this team. Meteor Beam. Oh, it does survive. That's not good. But they parting shot. Okay. That's not terrible. Okay. Their Incineroar is super low though and can't really come in. Uh, They should have Kali Ice and Palkia in the back. Unless they decide not to bring the Palkia, then we're fine. Uh, Top of Fini actually comes in, which is an interesting play. Okay. Which I don't mind because I get free high horsepower damage. And I'm going to make sure that Incineroar can come in by spamming Glacial Lands. I think with my Cali Ice. So that's going to be pretty big. Oh, they go for the Foul Play immediately. No Trick Room. All right. 
Okay, that's damage. Here comes a high horsepower into their Top of Fini. So they brought Top of Fini, which is an interesting play here. All right. I am kind of okay with just going for damage right here. Yeah, I'm just going to go for damage. I'm going Flash Cam plus Glacial Lance here. I just could use it. I just try to spam as much damage as I possibly can. If they protect Fini, they protect Fini. That's not even that bad. Because uh, I still get pretty decent damage on a Porygon. And there is a chance maybe I could get like a Flash Cannon and Glacial Lance combination off. But they do go for the Eerie Impulse here. Into Wait, I guess we speed type with the Cali Ice and the Porygon. I think. Because didn't my high horsepower go off before the foul play? Or did I completely misremember? Okay, Glacial Lance going to come out. That's still good damage on a Porygon. Or, so that's cool. Oh, that's beautiful damage. Wow, that's insane damage. Okay. I could go for the air slash flinch if I want to, or I could go for the speed tie if it's a speed tie here, which, uh, no, I guess I just misremembered. Okay. I guess I'm just going to air slash a Porygon and I'm going to swap out into, I don't feel I can switch. I actually think I'd rather just Lance here. You know what? I'm just going to Lance. Just going to, just going to try to brute force this because then I could bring out Groudon and click Presbus Blades, which I don't think is that bad. Uh, heal pulse. Ooh, okay. Huh. The heal pulse immediately, which I, I was hoping they would just go for madness. Foul play into my Cali is going to high roll. Okay. This is really bad now. Also, Beast Boost Porygon is a nightmare here. Okay. All right, uh, we go ground on here. We're clicking blades. This is such an awkward position now. <laughs> oh, how do you break through Porygon too? I guess I have to max it or the Kali and Hailstorm, which I don't really like. I'm going hard into Porygon here and I'm clicking blades. I, I just got to get damage off. I guess maybe I shouldn't have targeted the Feeny that one turn. If I targeted down to Porygon, I would have actually been in a way better spot. Feeny's Protect wasn't like super obvious because there was a chance that he went for Madness 2 or an Instant Sack there. But yeah, uh, this is not looking super hot right here. Just got to spam Blades and uh, get the damage off. I guess maybe I could have went for an Air Slash 2, but I'd rather just reset myself to steal his stats because i think i'm dynamaxing the cell steel the cell steel in the late game so let's bring out our porygon which is going to trace the misty surge unfortunately i couldn't trace the beast boost right there we're actually the porygon swap out so this is incineroar which is fine okay i don't mind that as much although they do get a free switch to cali ice now but did i dynamax activate the policy and then foul play I missed the instant. Okay, well, scratch that. Is that good for me or bad for me? I can't even tell. I mean, they do get a madness off, which is annoying here. It isn't a Porygon, though, so it's not, like, as bad. Okay. Hmm. I mean, I'm clicking Blades 100%, I guess, just recover. Oh, I don't have... Wait, I just realized I have allies to show for recover. Oh, no, 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 no. No. That's really not good. Okay. I did not realize we did not have a cover. Oh boy. We're going to sell steel over clicking blades. We might have to take a madness with Porygon once again. Unless this is heal pulse. This could be fake out heal pulse as well, which I am okay with. Okay. Fake out into my. Oh, they tired of Porygon. Uh, they want to deny recover. That makes sense. Okay. So I am. I. Okay, I was about to say. Wait, oh, I guess you can miss. Okay, so you can miss blades on a on a berry Pokemon. I've actually never seen that interaction, I'm pretty sure. Where you where they have a resist berry and then you can miss a super effective attack. I guess you can. Okay, that confirms it. Uh they managed my Groudon, which is perfectly fine here. Alright. Unfortunately, I can't do that Cali Ice play I would really like to make. So what's coming out is the question. Is it, is it the, is it going to be the Porygon or is it going to be the Cali? It's the Cali here. No, Porygon. Okay. Stop tracing my beast boost. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm air slashing and impressive is blading. 
get the consistent damage, I suppose. If I can flinch, I can flinch. Uh, Beanie might protect here or might just uh, go for anything else. Presbyte's Blade is going to come out. A decent damage into both. Air Slash going to come out into the Porygon. If we get a flinch here, that's actually pretty massive. Uh, because uh, Max... Okay, they heal pulse. That's fine here. Okay. Eerie Impulse immediately. Okay, I don't mind this that much. If they keep going for Eerie Impulse. The problem is, how am I breaking this Porygon? And that's the problem I have, is how am I breaking Porygon at all? Art into you. Presbyte Blades with you. Like, I just don't see how I'm breaking through Porygon with this. Like, the only mana I probably had was the Cali Ice. And it went down super early, unfortunately. So we're going to Porygon here. Can I get the Beast Boost? I keep getting Misty Surge. It's not the direct. I know it's not direct. The Porygon Cell Seal are not direct. Stop tracing the left slot. <laughs> okay, what's coming out here? Protect. No protects. Press his Blades. Okay. Madness once again into the Groudon slot. I'll play double up in the dawn. Okay, makes sense. All right. Mm. Oh my goodness. How do I break through the Porygon, man? I don't have a cover on the P2. I can't even stall the P2 with my own P2. I'd probably win that war if we somehow got to it, though. <laughs> All right, Celesteela in. I'm clicking the curse move on this Mon. Ally switch. We're still spiking. I'm hoping to catch an eerie impulse on the Celesteela. And next turn, I'm hoping to catch them with a cheesy foul play. Steel spike combination into their policy Calyrex. And hopefully that will be enough to actually pick up the knockout. But I have no clue if that actually will. And then... Uh, We'll still lose to the Porygon anyway, because we don't have a way to touch the Porygon unless we crit a bunch, but yeah. Ally switch. Okay. Is Safini faster than Celesteel? I think it is, right? No, it's not. Okay. Steel Spike. I could have gotten the... Hmm, I could have just went for the Flash Cannon. I don't think this is a bad spot, though. I don't know if they trick or no. That's my only question. Are you trickering me here? Because it's against Porygons. I feel like you would rather just go for the Eerie Impulse realistically. But let's see. Beast Boost. Huge. Nice. Same one for Eerie Impulse. Okay. That's step one. That's step one. Ah, <laughs> uh, there. Then afterward. Uh, yeah, this, this is where we're probably still losing, unfortunately. Because I don't know how I'm breaking through the Porygon. <laughs> Should be the Cali Ice. Yeah, okay. So Gastrodon was useless in this. How do you break through Porygon? I guess you have to get the Kali Ice in a good position. Otherwise, I just don't know how. Are we going for Steel Spike plus Foul Play and just hoping at this point? I could reverse Trick Room if I expect Protect, but I don't know if they just Dynamax here. And yeah, they are going to Dynamax. Okay, if Steel Spike into Foul Play could KO, we have a chance. It's not that great of a chance, but there's a chance. There's an absolute chance right here. We'll find out. Calyrex does Dynamax. This is a plus one Steel Spike from my uh, Cell Stealer. Oh, it's Babiri Berry. Oh, that's not policy. Oh, that's probably it then. Well, maybe it's not. I still get the Steel Spike off into the Cali. So that's still big damage. Foul Play is still going to do a decent amount. But I imagine we're not taking two hits with our Porygon. The Quake for the special defense increase. It looks like they're trick rooming, yeah. Okay. But they do no damage to my Porygon. <laughs> if we had recover, it would be so nice here. Okay. Oh, wait. They Eerie Impulse instead. Wait, no. That's good for me. Yeah, that's good for me. I foul play into the Cali Ice. I'm pretty sure a double KO, so I think they have to protect. Time to make some insane plays. Time to reverse Trick Room. Can we reverse Trick Room? Show me Max Guard. Ah, nice. <laughs> I really, really wanted them to Max Guard in Trick Room so the Cali Ice could hail storm. 
I was really hoping that they would go. I expected double up max guard. Okay. They do hailstorm finally into my Porygon, most likely. I am taking this, but uh, my Porygon's way too low at this point. Unless we both trick roomed here, and then there's a chance. No, they foul play doubled up, but foul play is not going to KO at all. Yeah. Although, I guess one interesting note is that my Cal... Huh. Actually, hasn't my Porygon... I'm pretty sure my Porygon will move before the Cali, but... Uh, yeah, this does not look like a win con of a game right here. I probably need some special defense decreases with Flash Cannon into the Celly. Let's go for the foul play plus a flash cannon. Yeah, okay, so the Kali is actually faster than my Porygon. Interesting note here. I we're gonna see foul play go into my Porygon, which is gonna not pick up the knockout actually. Hailstorm, please tell me this is into the Porygon right here. It's in the Celly, okay. I think I'm taking too much. If I could if I get the knockout of a flash cannon. Okay, wait, hold on. Did I theoretically win if I stall out the Porygon? I think I could, right? I'm like pretty sure I could. Special attack boost, ironically, it's not gonna help us, but okay. How many foul plays does the Porygon have? I mean, that's the big question. It's went for quite a bit. It's went for quite a bit. I also have like plus three def no I, I have plus three or plus two i have plus three right oh boy this could be something here how uh, we go for flash cannon special defense drops is there gonna area impulse spam that's fine yeah okay if south can actually come back in this 1v1 i'll be amazed like this would be absolutely amazing but i have no clue here comes a flash cannon into the porygon can we get this death drop What's the special, special defense drop chance? I think it's 10. If it's 20, that's, uh, I've never seen it really, but yeah. Flash cannon. Thing is, the hail is really adding up, which is annoying. Okay, to recover. All I need are flash cannons, but death drops, and we could flinch the Porygon out potentially. Flash cannon. I just need spit death drop. Okay, there's one. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> It's still, still actually somehow comes back in this. I'll be amazed. I might go for meteor beams as well, but I don't know. They could realistically probably win by timer stalling, but I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. But yeah, we're going to keep clicking flash cannon. I guess maybe they don't know. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose on your on time before. I would need like, I think I need like double crit on the last turn of trick room. Are they out of foul plays? There's no way they're out of foul plays here. Maybe they just don't want to waste in case I protect. Not getting any flash cannons. Maybe I should go for the air slash flinch at this point. Because if I can get flinches into a crit, maybe it'll do it. Because I don't think I can win on timer. I think there's like four minutes left in this game. I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's enough. Yeah, they go for trick him again. Okay. Because <laughs> theoretically, this is doable. Theoretically. I'm just gonna cut it out so if we actually do something yeah three minutes on the timer they could actually just timer stall and guarantee win this they don't even have to miss yeah i only have three turns left in this game ah uh, they don't though okay okay there's another spadef drop perfect timing trick or return to normal all right if there's any chance air slash crit flinch right here or just flinch Preferably crit flinch because we're almost out of time anyway. Are you telling me that was the crit? Oh, wait. The thing was only minus one spit death. Wait. Oh, no. Because the quake boost and the thing, right? It, there was one quake boost. 
I just realized, oh shoot, <laughs> I'm gonna need a bunch more. And I don't think I'm gonna have enough. I'm gonna have to be the luckiest man in the world. I completely forgot about the boost earlier as well as the thing. Come on, Celestila. Two more crits. Two more crits. One more crit flinch and uh, another crit. <laughs> Okay, it's over. It's over. I'm going to protect. They're going to recover here, aren't they? I would recover if I was them, but let's see. Yeah, good play. Uh, could it break through Porygon? This Pokemon, a demon, demon like to break through with what we had. Cause I would have either had to, I had to max Celesteela. I guess they were like, if I just KO'd the Cali faster, there was actually like better shots I could maybe break through the Porygon, right? Because I could have been chipping away the Porygon without play as well. So I guess there was that option as too. But man, yeah, I just don't know. Uh, what's like, I can't really break through the Porygon. Maybe I had to. I'm not bringing Venusaur in that matchup. I, I'm just saying, I don't think I ever bring Venusaur in that matchup. Against Cali Ice and Palkia. Like, sure, we get Vine Lashes off. We can't Sleep Powder, though. And then the Porygon just here impulses and recovers. So it just seems like a really tough mod to break through. I think I have to set up with Cali Ice somehow. Like, position Cali for a knockout. Maybe I have to do the Ally switch with Porygon plus the Cali Ice. But otherwise, like, yeah, opposing Porygon 2 seemed really hard right there. But I guess if I did double up the Cali instead of reading the Max Guard Trick Room from the Porygon that one turn, uh, where they actually got an attack off, it actually might have been doable with the health on the Porygon that I had. So I guess that was a big misplay there. Also, I guess uh, relying on the roll and the foul play on the Cali, <laughs> which was uh, not great there. But yeah. <laughs> and that is the show. Celesteela and Choice Scarf Groudon. My opponents definitely didn't expect the Choice Scarf Groudon for sure. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out, like, how do I opposing Porygon 2? No recover, just made it a little bit tricky. Maybe I have to do, like, Cali Ice sweeps against the Porygon, but it's a little bit hard to, I feel like, in order to get the Beast boost. But I guess it is probably possible. But if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like down below, leave a comment down below. It really does help me out. The Choice Card Groudon was a pretty fire tech, and I'm really glad we got that Rock Tomb into the Meteor Beam combination the ground and sell seal that they weren't suspecting but if you did again enjoy it leave a like down below leave a comment down below check out the rest of the details of the team and the creator down below in the description you can grab the rental code on the screen while it's available and of course check out the rest of my series 12 content where he's a lot of cool teams and a lot of fun pokemon but that's going to be it for me have a great day people and until we bow again i'll catch y'all later